We're here with our seniors, Jenny Engel and Annie Ricewig. For both of you, are you excited about the upcoming Senior Day match? How do you plan on focusing your emotions? This is going to be a very important match against Western Michigan. Well, um, we are just super pumped to play Western Michigan. I mean, we're just taking the fire to um, practice every single day. Um, as for the game day, um, I'm all about my routine, so I'll probably just um, try to focus in on that because um, that, that's how I play my best. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, my family's coming out, so it'll be fun to have everyone here for our senior night. Um, but as for the game, we're really excited to get some redemption from Western Michigan. So, all right. Can each of you tell me some of your favorite moments from the past four years? Um, well, our whole team is just full of, like, you know, just fun moments. Um, Every day is pretty memorable with our team. <laughs> it is. Uh, I can remember um, one of our old assistant coaches, she would have us take pictures with all the mascots when we went to away sites. So that was pretty funny. We'd act like we were um, different animals. Um, we The... Ohio University has a big um, inflatable uh, tube type thing, and we would pretend like we were popping it. it would, we just have fun every day. Right. What is one piece of advice you would give to the rest of your teammates and future members of this team as they continue on over the next few years? Um, I would say just enjoy each moment because it really does go by pretty fast. I know it's pretty cliche, but you know, I feel like yesterday we were freshmen. <laughs> I'd have to echo off of uh, Annie. I mean, just take every moment and enjoy it because um, you won't get that moment back. Um, and just, you know, work hard and um, make every day your best. Thank you. Have fun. Woo. We're here with head coach Carolyn Condit. Coach, you had your two best hitting performances by percentage in the road victories against Akron and Buffalo last weekend. What were the factors in playing such complete matches in the other team's buildings? Well, we practiced hard and well uh, for the week prior to that, and that always gives confidence. And uh, our setters did a great job, and it was a just t really a total team effort because without the passing, you don't have the setting. Um, but our hitters went at it, and they were smart, and they protected the ball and broken plays. And uh, uh, I really will tell you, we just have our middle shining as usual, and our right sides, freshman Stella Kukoc and certainly Katie Tomasak, our sophomore, uh, played a lot on that right side this weekend and had some of their best performances. So when you're hurting a team with more than just your middles, um, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible because then it's hard to double team just one hitter. So there's a lot of reasons. Uh, we had some left side step up at different times as well, and it was really a total team effort, and we, we need to keep feeling that as we go toward the tournament. First up this week is a trip to Bowling Green on Thursday. The Falcons are not going to qualify for the MAC tournament this year, but they are still very dangerous at home as they just upset Kent State a couple of weeks ago. What can we expect from BGSU? Well, I know they're well coached and they have uh, talent on that team. Um, they're down a few players, and so that's probably why they're struggling more this year. But they can play and beat you any night, and so we're going up there assuming they're going to play their best match against us. Uh, I, I don't think their talent is indicative of their record, um, but it's just the kind of year they're having. But uh, they're dangerous, and so we're going to go in prepared to uh, expect them to be their best, and we need to turn out another performance like we did on the past weekend. All right, after that, we have the Senior Day match against Western Michigan. Before we talk about the Broncos, what can you tell us about the impact your two seniors, Annie Ricewig and Jenny Engel, have had on the program? Well, both Jenny and... Annie have been really superb offensive players for us. Annie at the left antenna and Jenny in the middle. Uh, but besides that, uh, I think one of the hardest parts of the game really is blocking. And we rely on Annie in our matchups. And she does such a great job lining up and getting her hands over the net and really blocking bigger than she is. And so that she's made a huge impact both as hitter and setter. And, of course, Jenny at 6'5 is getting those hands over the net all the time and is a huge threat. And uh, both of them, uh, you know, do a great job in both areas of the game. And Annie's played some six rotation for us back row. Um, and they're, they're going to be missed. They're literally, the old saying, shoes are going to be hard to fill, is true for both of those. And I think we're going to feel that in the spring when we no longer have them. And, and they're great team players. They just work. You know, they, they work hard, and they love what they're doing. And you really miss players like that when they leave your program. And so uh, I'm just savoring every moment we have with both of them through our final home match and then into the tournament and hopefully beyond that. Uh, it's for the first time we see that the season we faced 
it's the first time this season we face WMU. <coughs> what can you tell us about the Broncos? Well, we would have liked to play Western Michigan the first match of the year um, because of how we ended our season last year, but uh, they're well coached. Um, I really like their coaching staff. Uh, their team is talented. Uh, we, we know that uh, there's particular ways we have to block and attack to beat them. And uh, I think, like a few other schools, uh, they're, they're going to be one of our biggest challenges this year. And it's fun to have them at home instead of on the road. So we expect them to be pretty offensive. They always do some great uh, work in their backcourt. Their libero is very talented. And uh, overall, you know, it's not about just stopping one player. We have to play a complete game against them. Switching gears a bit, it was NLI Day on Wednesday. As we can only talk about the players you have signed to National Letters of Intent, what can you tell me about those two signees? I've heard one of them has a unique connection to a name from the past. <laughs> yeah, that would be <coughs> Taylor Dano, and her mom was Jenny Schwarber, who uh, played for Miami and for me uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, and was part of our first MAC championship team in my time at Miami. So uh, it's really special to sign Taylor. She is probably one of the finest ball control players I've ever seen. Uh, we're recruiting her as a libero back row specialist, but I also know she can hit the ball very well. She's close to touching 9-9. And so she's going to come in and prove what she can do at this level when she gets here. But overall, full package and uh, a great student and just an all-around wonderful person who loves the game of volleyball. And when you watch her play, you have no doubt about that. Um, Margaret Payne uh, from the Michigan area is a middle that uh, is very talented. And it's a good thing because uh, it's always good to have three middles in your program and with losing Jenny. Uh, she's coming in at a, at a perfect time. She is um, more than most middles uh, present to the floor. She can also play outside. And uh, she's just a real strong blocker and hitter who doesn't overanalyze the game but is always thinking ahead. And Margaret has got that calm personality that you love to play with on the court, a little bit like Paige, actually. Um, so I'm excited about both of them. We've worked very hard to get them, and we're just honored to have them both sign. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.